Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for March 15th through April 15th. Um, I was hoping to get the March readings out and I didn't. I've been dealing with some personal stuff. I had to make some big decisions. So I've been a little bit absent, um, focusing my energy on my life. Um, so I do apologize. Um, hope Always striving for more consistency. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So please forgive me. Um, I'm excited to do this reading for you. Uh, it looks like you're moving into a period where you're going to be feeling very, very inspired and very clear. So I'll get into that in a moment. Um, as always, I'm going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website. You can go on there to subscribe to my newsletter or book a session with me as a way of saying thank you for all your love, encouragement, and support and loyalty. I have a special code that you can use if you'd like to book with me and you'll receive 20% off at checkout. So it's YouTube 20 or YouTube 20, and I'm going to put that in the comment below so you don't have to remember it, you guys. So you'll receive 20% off uh, reading with me if you are so inclined. I'm also going to include links to my social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram if you'd like to connect with me there. And I just want to get going. I've already pulled the Oracle cards and then I'm going to use Tarot to get some additional messages. Um, we're starting off with the King of Scrolls and this is from the Akashic Tarot. So these cards are very different, but this would correspond um, mostly to like the king of wands which is an amazing energy it is an energy of reaching this place of self-mastery um maturity um really knowing what you want and the the wands are very spiritual um, very enthusiastic, um, just full of energy and drive, determination, vision. If we think about the King of Wands, he is a visionary. Um, he's a leader and he gets people really excited about things. Um, so beautiful, beautiful energy. If you've been lacking clarity or motivation, I feel like that is going to be shifting you guys. And we do have the partial lunar eclipse coming up on April 30th. And so that could, um, that could lead to a big shift in your life is, is kind of what I'm feeling because the eclipses uh, for the next couple of years are going to be in Taurus and Scorpio. So very transformative, bringing in more stability, uh, real changing of the guard. Um, so I feel like this is exactly where you're at. The other message that we've got is this grand trine, and this indicates that blessings are coming in for you. By following your vision for your life, it's going to open up all these doors, and then all of these blessings will be coming to you. This card corresponds to temperance, and I was looking at the guidebook, um, but this really is an indication that things are going to start flowing in your life. Things are going to be balancing out. So if you've been in this energy where you've been feeling like you've been banging your head up against the wall like many of us have, or things aren't flowing, that is about to shift. Everything's going to start coming together um, with less effort. It's like you're not going to have to almost kill yourself to make things happen. It's going to happen. Things are going to start happening organically. It's just all going to flow for you. Um, and this is going to allow you to feel much more balanced. Now, the next card is Door to Spirit. This is very spiritual energy. This is about a spiritual awakening or a new beginning. And this is what's helping you with um, within the next month, the next 30 days. Um, so I do feel that for many of you, as is happening in the collective, 
you may be going through a spiritual ascension in the next month um, leading up to this eclipse. The eclipse could also trigger it for you. Um, spiritual awakenings or spiritual ascensions, they can be a little bit tricky to navigate, um, but not always. Um, sometimes they happen with ease. Sometimes they happen with great difficulty. It just depends on where you're at on your journey. But this does represent a beautiful new beginning. And it's also a much more spiritual chapter of your life. So there, I feel like you are really going to be deepening your relationship to the unseen world really really beautiful energy so let's get some tarot on this what is this new beginning this spiritual awakening about for aquarius the four of wands and this card is often seen as the 11 11 card we've got two wands here two wands here um 11 is a master number. It is very spiritual. Um, it does represent um, new beginnings. And it also represents that your angels are helping you. So beautiful spiritual energy coming through for you, Aquarius. I Like I said, um, you're going to be leveling up spiritually, going deeper into this journey. Um, the Four of Wands also indicates reasons to celebrate. Um, there's a sense of community. Um, this card holds the energy of stability. Um, even marriage. It could be a spiritual marriage. Um, it could be a romance that comes into your life unexpectedly. Spirit leads someone into your life unexpectedly. And it's everything that you've been hoping for. Um, it's a beautiful, stable energy, very loving, very inspired, very spiritual. Wow. Then we've got the Ten of Pentacles that is coming through. Um, this is like the ultimate achievement. It's one of the happily ever after cards. Um, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, this could be romantic. This could be a partnership, a spiritual partnership with a soulmate that you're going to enter into. Um, so this could be within the next 30 days or around the time of the eclipse. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is really... Um, you know, achieving um, and receiving everything that you're wanting out of life. And so what your spirit guides are saying is that it is possible. Um, what I just heard, um, heaven on earth is a possibility. And if there was ever a time to experience heaven on earth, harmony, um, ease, flow, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be this year. It's coming. This is really big. And then we've also got the page of wands. So more wands energy. The wands is, is very, very spiritual energy, you guys. And it's just so full of, um, you know, enthusiasm, determination. So this is a new chapter, um, a lot of passion. You're going to be feeling a lot of passion, passion for life, passion for this partnership that could potentially come in for you. Um, this is like a, a reinvigoration. Um, you are going to feel more of your I can't speak, more vitality, more enthusiastic, more curious, more excited about life in general. Um, this is part of the spiritual upgrade for you. Um, what I'm seeing is um, there is this card in another deck and it's between worlds. And this is kind of what I'm feeling for you. It shows this big bird. I can't remember if it's a, what are those? birds. Anyway, ostrich. It's a huge ostrich. Half of it is gray. Half of it is like technicolor, like just bright technicolor. And um, 
it indicates a transitioning point. Um, going away from the dull gray into this technicolor world. And this is what I'm feeling for you. This is what the spiritual upgrade is about or the spiritual awakening. Um, it is going to revitalize you. It's going to change your outlook. Um, it's a really exciting time that's coming in for you. Now, the next card that we have is regeneration. And I always sort of read this card um, as related to Scorpio, that Phoenix rising energy. Um, you could have been going through some real difficulties in the past. It's like everything was burned to the ground. Maybe you had a tower moment. Um, things fell apart. And this is in indicating that it is time to rebuild. You can regenerate, you can rebuild, you can rise from the ashes. And this has been a theme within the collective for so many of the signs over the past six months. But this is in the challenge position. So the challenge for you, Aquarius, is getting out of your head and really trying to balance out, um, you know, your thoughts and your emotions, um, really connecting your head space with your heart space, because there is this amazing new chapter coming in for you. Um, you are going to grow. You're going to come back to life in a sense. Um, beautiful, beautiful energies, but this is challenging for you right now. Let's see what the tarot says. Yeah, Page of Swords. Um, in order to come back to life, you've got to take action. And with the Page of Swords, this is that observer energy. It's, um, it's observing things. It's being in your head, in your thoughts, but not really taking action. And in order to rise like the phoenix, you've got to spread your wings and decide to fly. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through. The devil and the hermit. Very interesting. Okay. So the devil is about um, stagnation. It's um, being bound, um, feeling bound to something. Um, it is a toxic, unhealthy energy. It could be an obsessive energy. Um, and it could just be like overthinking. So however it manifests for you, this devil energy, um, it's about getting out of this, taking action to get out of this energy um, because this is only going to drag you down and it's going to keep you in this charred state where nothing can grow, where you cannot come back to life. Um, so it's going to be important for you to do the soul searching, go within, figure it out. What is this vision that you have for your life? How do you move forward? What action do you need to take? What direction do you want to go in? Um, really go within, spend some time thinking about that, and then, you know, just put one foot in front of the other, um, one step at a time, and you are going to get there. Because with this card, if you look at it, there are these little leaves that are popping out. And so this, this tree, this charred tree is coming back to life little by little. It's slow and steady. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, but this is really about um, rebuilding, rebuilding your life. Now, in the future, we've got this amazing energy, um, joyous fun. This would correspond, to me, I always read this as the Three of Cups, which is a very, very celebratory energy. It's about enjoying life. It's very carefree. You're with friends. You're with family. You're with your loved ones. Um, 
and you're taking advantage of all that life has to offer. And for many of you, I do feel that that's going to include love. That is going to include, um, you know, a stable romance. And if you guys are already in a connection, I feel that, um, this period that you're going through the spiritual awakening or the spiritual upgrade is really going to breathe new life into that existing connection that you're in um it's it's almost like you're going to get to know each other all over again you're going to discover things about each other that you did not know uh, but this is such a positive energy and this is coming up in the near future so like i said on um, with in the next month or around the time of the eclipse um things are really really going to start shifting yeah we've got the eight of wands coming through this is about communication potentially traveling and it also is about moving forward um, so I just feel like once you make the decision to really embrace this new chapter that you're moving into, um, you're going to move quite quickly. But we do have this Knight of Wands kind of tempering uh, the eight. I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. Excuse me. This Knight of Pentacles is... Um, is tempering this eight of wands so what i'm feeling here i i do feel that for many of you this is going to be something romantic um you do want to take it slow and steady but at the same time you might really want to make your intentions known um and if this doesn't have to do with romance if this has to do with career or a business or some sort of partnership like that um i'm, I'm feeling the same energy um communication is going to be important to move forward um take it one step at a time um but don't let the pace um damper your enthusiasm okay because i do feel that even if you do decide to move a, a little slower than you would like um the end result is going to be amazing uh, you can still retain that enthusiasm you can still enjoy yourself now we do have these six of cups um i really feel like this is a love reading you guys um with the six of cups coming through oh i know what it is i know what this is okay um i have to correct the message um with the six of cups this is a soul mate i'm not reading this as childhood um i'm reading this as a soul mate um but it is sort of a, a longing energy. It's like, I feel like you've been looking for this for a long time. This is why the Knight of Pentacles is coming through. It's taken you your entire life to find this person. Um, and so once you finally make the decision to really embrace this next chapter, then it's going to be full speed ahead. It could make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you may have not really moved this quickly in the past, but you're going to want to um, with this person. I feel like... Um, you're going to be very communicative. You are, and, and you are, I mean, Aquarius, you guys love to talk. You love to share ideas. You, I mean, yes, you're big communicators, but you are going to be on communication overdrive. You want to let this person know how much they mean to you, how much you enjoy their company. 
Um, you may talk about future plans that you have, what you want the future to look like. And you guys, this could be vice versa as well. This could be somebody coming in for you that is holding this energy, okay? So just take what resonates, but this looks really good. Um, like I said, I do feel that this is more of a love reading, um, but just take what resonates. And I hope that this helped you. Um, it looks really positive for you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Sending lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.